This unit comes uh, in two parts, so you can see I've got it in an enclosure. So this front panel is where the smarts are, and then the back end is the power supply. So if I just just kind of just click it open, there you go. So this is the power plug, and this is the the smarts. This this is what has all the smarts, and this in here has the power pack. So this has the power supply. And typically what you would do is you can have this enclosure if you're putting it on a desk like I have, but you can actually mount this onto the wall. So then what you do is you stick this on here. There you go. So it clips in like that. So you can see it powers up. And so on the side here, what I've got, I've got four sensors. I've got the door sensor here. This is a magnetic door sensor. Uh, these are Zigbee, by the way, they're all Zigbee. Uh, this is a motion detector. It's powering up now. And then I've got the, uh, I've got, I've got a temp, sorry, this is a temperature one and this is the switch. It's got sound as well. It's got a speaker down the bottom. It's got a microphone up here as well. So you can give it voice commands as well. It does talk to Alexa. So you can give it voice commands for your home automation. Now, for me, I'm using Fabara as one of the hubs. I'm also using uh, Home Assistant. Home Assistant is the master controller. It talks to Fabara and this will, fit into my ecosystem, I will configure it so that it, 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 it talks to uh, home, home Assistant. So let's go through the setup. So it says start and then of course you can select the language and in this case it's English and then the, the, the country. So we'll put in Australia um, and let's see what we got down here. We got Australia and uh, we're in Melbourne. So it's now going to go and try and find a Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm going to pick that one. So I'm going to come back in a minute once once I put the password in. So we're going to just log in here. So the way to log in is you have to log into their app. So what you have to do is you have to go and download the app, which I've already done. And then you've got to scan. So if you go down here and uh, go here plus and scan code. So now it's found, it's going to find the hub. So it's, it's found the hub and we're done. So now it's it's saying it's connected. So that's all you got to do. So if you look at my app here, you can see that there, there's the, the actual gateway and I can add devices. Now the way to add devices is not here on the app. You've actually got to add it in here. How do you do that? So you can scroll down here and then you get a couple of things here. You've got the add device, so it will pair, it will scan for any devices when you pair them. And I'll show you that in a minute. You've got notifications, you've got device settings. So if we go to device settings, you've got the network, you've got the account. You've got to go and set up an account. You've got the time zone, you've got the weather uh, display. So, you know, brightness, etc., cetera, and, and auto lock. Language, we've already looked at that. Uh, the volume, so we'll just bring the volume down a little bit. Clock, obviously, you can set alarms and so on. Uh, and then this is a DIY cam, so you can connect webcam let's say for outside and it will talk to this device if it's connected to this particular hub so this is a zigbee hub itself it's contained in here right so uh, so so that's 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 really basically it um, now if you swipe back up here and swipe to the left you will actually see let's go back you'll see manual scenes so you can actually set up automations um, we haven't done that you have to set them up in the ewe link app so what i do is i'm going to add this device here the way that you would do it is you go in here and you said it says start pairing and then there's a little a little hole in here that you've got to press down and start the pairing and it will start the pairing for this device and you can see it's flashing keep it pressed for a while it will flash a few times and then it will show that it's been paired so there you go it's it's now flashing keep it pressed and I'm going to now release this and hopefully it will find it will find the device let's see what happens so it's found it's found one motion sensor so we can then say finish and it's got a motion sensor in there it's going to actually appear on your app so if you go to in here you go to devices you'll see the motion sensors already there so let's do another one let's do a temperature sensor shall we so let's go in here we'll just do two this time I won't do all of them just do two and this one's a little bit different uh, this one same idea so swipe down add and then you've got to press this this little button here at the top so I'll just push it down and start pairing and you will see the light go red and flash 
So let's just wait and uh, see what happens. So it, it takes a little while, so you've got to be patient. Depending, there you go, it's, it's found the sensor. So you have a sensor, humidity and temperature sensor already there. And then if we look at the app, so we go to devices, there you are, you have a temperature sensor as well. You know, this is a short video just to demo this unit and it's pretty elegant as you can see. It's a four core Cortex uh, microcontroller. It's got quite a lot of RAM in it and a lot of compute. It's also got a GPU in here for accelerating the graphical user interface. I'm not sure if they're running embedded Linux and probably Android or some nature of Android, um, but uh, it's got enough grunt to be able to run this quite smoothly. This whole uh, interface is quite responsive, the touchscreen. So there you have it. This is a quick demo of this unit. Let me know if you guys are using this and in what configuration. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Please share them in the comments field. Thank you and see you in the next one. Cheers.